garage in Hawthorne? No. Well, Mark is there. He has a nacho lighter. I gave it to him. And everything was great. It was a screwdriver, not a knife like this one. But uh, he lost it, and then he was really fucking sad. Because he had just come taking it for granted, but then it was gone. So, uh, yeah, so I made him do a nacho lighter commercial before I would give him another one. After he disparaged my nacho lighter, I'll make him fun of him. But if you don't like that nice one, I got, I got this one. Now, I was told I got a too good of a deal on this one at your purpose project. And if we need to hold your leg down while we cut it off, I do have this. Yes. So we can hold it down and then saw. And you know what's really nice? What? All of them are really good for uh, cleaning your pipe. You can clean your pipe with any of them. So that's oh, super sweet. nice. Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to have that. Now, if anybody's feeling super religious in the crossy kind of way, I have this cute little pink natural lighter with, with home or whatever this is, crosses on it. So, duh. Yeah, yeah, the whole crucifixion thing, I said, no, yeah. I like the fire thing. I do, ha I do have a mallet, awesome. I have a mallet. Oh, hi, Zach. How's it going? I just have pictures of your natural lighters. The last member of my camel collection. Yeah. I had two, but how much for that one? This one is fifteen dollars. Yes, yeah, so Don got the other one last week, the one that had the hump that you could keep your drugs. Or, what do you keep in there? Peter oh. Coke. Yeah, drugs. That's what I thought. You might put other things. I don't know. Like, like if you had say a giant diamond. Put it in there. Yeah. I guess it's a kind of rock. Put the weed in there. Anyway. Anyway. Um, we were talking about um, different spaces and stuff, right? So when I was a little kid, a baby bobo, I worked at Greenpeace in South Florida and we would go door to door and uh, try and get people to give money to Greenpeace to save the whales and stuff. And uh, this is like 1989, maybe 1989. And uh, when we got done, at the end of the day, we would drink a lot of beer and do a lot of acid no, and watch John Waters movies. Yeah. So are any of y'all John Waters fans? Yeah. I had no choice. I had no choice because I was forced into it by an authority figure in my life. I could probably see for that now, but uh, it, it actually, you know, um, I did walk out of the first John Waters movie that I ever saw. Did anybody guess which one? Which John Waters movie is it? Pink Flamingos. Pink Flamingos. Why? I love the vibe. Because of the scene where Divine ate the dog shit. No, never made it to that. <laughs> Close. Pink flamingos, oh, but oh, why? The talking but why? asshole. The talking asshole. No, I don't remember that part. Yes. Anybody else? You're so close. You're so close. Chicken fucking. Yes, yes, yes. Chicken fucking. <laughs> yes, baby go go walk up because of the chicken <laughs> sex <laughs> And while I was there, this young man had green peas told me that he didn't do acid. And the reason he didn't do acid is because when he lived in Gainesville, he said there was this yellow house. And he was told that if you ever drop acid, you could go to this house and you would be safe. They would take care of you. So for whatever dumb reason, he did acid by himself. When I always thought acid should come with a list of instructions. Like have your keys somewhere safe. Do not have to drive. Do not mix with lots of other drugs. Consider the woods as a first option. Perhaps the springs. Do art. Things like that. But, um, 
He did it by himself. And so he like went to the big yellow house. And he gets there and like everybody seems to be tripping and everything seems to be going good. And then you know what happens? Somebody doses him. So he decides that what happens now is you just live in the big yellow house forever. And it's his first time and only time tripping. He thought that you just live in Gainesville in the big yellow house and you just trip forever. There's nothing you can do. And that's where we're at. Yay! And with that, I would like to give you the Nani song, which is a poem written by my cousin, Faye Biggerstaff. I'm going to do this with Raindrop next week, so you can see two different versions of it. But uh, I never know. Do you need somebody to do your covers? You no. Know, I can be Dan Drop. Hold on. I think I, I don't do need to be Raindrop. Songs. I can be Dan or Drop. Hold on. Let me go through my slides for a second. I got crack, crack, mother that can crack, crack. <laughs>
And if you don't want to do that, we can maybe collect it cumulatively. Does anybody have any drugs? Cumulatively, ha <laughs> ha in the bucket. Right here. Let's do that. Yeah, pass that bucket around. Yeah. Somebody's for sure going to put all their money in there. Okay. This is the way. Oh, your fucking money! Oh, your fucking money! Pop up some oh, dough, bitch! Here, use Let's your go. damn sign! Free to here. get in! Hold your sign! It's Derek's birthday, he doesn't have to do anything. Give, gets, me, gets... give me that gap, yeah, fuck! Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah! Yeah, that's pretty that? good! I don't here! Really here, you probably need to protest. Oh, yeah, but I got give me all your money and protest. Here, I got money. Do you know what you're protesting? <laughs> Oh, you don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice yeah. shot. All right, all right. That lady that was sitting there did not get to say what she wanted. Lavender AI. Holy fuck. <laughs> it's not all I remember. He's a French comic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did you have money? <laughs> Are you Jewish? I'm sorry. It's just kidding. I don't care. I just saw you. Not if there are poor Jewish people. I'm not saying anything. You're Jewish, you have any money? Alright, well whatever. Yeah, there are poor Jews, but hey, at least the weather's nice. Yeah. It's uh I don't Where's that one lady? Yeah, she really got that. What the fuck was that? Did we just sorry, we'll wait till the show. Put the racist in charge of the show. I'll do it.
blowing. The one and only. Come on, that's kid shit. That's good word play. The one and only Jason. Give Jason a round of applause. Nobody that I know other than Jason is playing a dirty, dirty in town. In town, certainly not. Yeah, no, there, there's, there's at least one other dirty, dirty player in Florida. And the only reason I know that is because it's a, uh, like a pretty dirty website where pretty dirty players can self-report themselves as living somewhere and playing a pretty dirty, which is really kind of funny. I like you went and clicked on the page and I'm like, there's one person in Orlando that plays pretty dirty in Florida to, to this website. And, yeah. I don't know. Did you turn it on? I have no idea. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Do we have a cord? Can play the guitar? I don't. If you do, I'll fucking do it. I left a cord here.